Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part 3. So we're gonna see how to put the laser on a gun. So the first thing that we have to do is opening the uh, AR4. So we use that one, which is this one here, the one that we already have all our attachment to it. So we're gonna click here, which is gonna bring us to here. So what we have to do is create a socket for the laser. Uh, so what I already did here, just click on the root here, add socket and name your socket laser socket like so here and I added a preview here so I did one in blender uh, but you can add a cube and just size it on that screen here and place it where you want on your weapon and you will be all set so when that is done you save that and you can go back to your um, folder where the, your laser is we're gonna create a blueprint laser so just click on it blueprint class actor and name that bp underscore laser and you can open that so when you're in it we're not gonna need the uh, event begin play i mean the event uh, overlap we're just gonna keep the event begin play and the event tech and just before starting that blueprint we're gonna go back to our third person character and we're just gonna set up our laser here so from the weapon, when the weapon is selected, we're going to add and do a static mesh. I'm going to call that laser. And make sure the laser is selected in blue. And we're going to add an arrow. There we go. And I'm going to name that arrow, basically, arrow direction. So our laser is going to be cast from that arrow here and it's going to point in the good direction here so in the viewport uh, what we have to do now it's click on the laser and we have to attach that to the socket that we created so the laser socket here it's going to go right in the front and we're going to take our mesh the mesh that you have for you me i have i have one laser so it's going to go and attach to your weapon like this and make sure you select the arrow and we're gonna move that so what we're gonna do here first we're just gonna move that in front of the weapon like this and we're gonna rotate this so the arrow face the same direction as your weapon like this as you can see it's facing the same direction of my weapon it's exactly what we want so we can compile and save it's 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 really important that the arrow is not in the laser otherwise it might get blocked by your mesh and the laser is not going to work so you can just put it pretty close so when that is done we all set up for a third person character we're going to go in the blueprint this time and from the event begin play what we're going to need to do is doing all the little logic for the laser so first of all we're going to cast to our third person character as usual from the object we're going to search for the player character like so and we're just going to click here and promote that to verbal i'm just going to call that ref because we're going to need that shortly so under even tick here i'm just going to create a custom event and I'm going to name that laser. From the event tick, I'm going to cast that custom event, so laser. And here, we're going to make the logic. So from that, we're going to hold S on the keyboard to do a sequence. From then 1, I mean 0 here, we're going to drag, search for do once. And from this, we're going to spam our emitter, but the attach one here. And we're going to make sure that when the emitter asset, we take our laser that we did earlier. And on the return value, we're going to promote that to variable. I'm going to call that ref particle laser. Here I'm going to take the reference for our third person character, so get, 
and from that I'm going to search for the arrow so get this direction arrow this one here I'm going to plug this to the attach component like so now what we're going to do we're just going to go and drag from the dead one here actually we're going to put the uh, ref laser first and from this uh, we're going to search for the beam so we're going to set the beam so drag from it and set beam at source point and now we can connect this to the den one here there you go perfect from here we're going to take our third person character once again we're going to get it and we're going to search for our arrow from the arrow here we're going to get wall location and we're going to drag once again from this and we're going to get the forward vector there you go like this now from the new source point here we're going to connect this to the get wall location from get roll location we're going to search for plus so we're going to add from the head here we're going to search for multiplier we're going to get the forward vector just plug that to the multiplier and now we're just going to create a variable and i'm going to call this uh, laser distance because i don't want my laser to go forever and i'm going to change the type for a float and i'm going to drag that on the screen here and just plug that here here we go we're just going to compile so it's going to give us the possibility to put a number so thousand is a good number if you want it longer you put longer if you want it shorter your laser you put it shorter uh, it's as you wish it's no big deal so now from the uh, the set beam here we're gonna drag and search for line trace by channel this one here we need to make sure the uh, get roll location is connected to start and the plus is connected to the end and we're just going to move away here so from the line trace here we're going to click on the out it and we're just going to split the structure actually uh, I'm going to drag from that and I'm just going to break it result I'm going to make sure I click on the arrow here so I can get all of it from the break uh, I'm just going to zoom a little bit some some from the <laughs> from the blocking it we're going to promote that to variable and we're going to do the same thing for the location there you go so we're going to plug all of that together there you go and now we're going to set the beam so we're going to drag from the set location we're going to set beam actually i forget to do something first we're going to take the reference for laser particle first and now we're gonna set the beam and we're gonna look for the target point so this one here and we're gonna plug this together and I'm just gonna move that all of the way here there you go so now I'm gonna take the block it put it here to get location same thing whoops wrong one and the only reason why i did set it there i don't want line to cross all over the place so it's just going to be a little bit better here and from the new target location here we're going to drag and we're going to search for the select we're going to take the one the vector one and we're going to plug the location in a and the block it in pickup a and the trace a to the b here perfect so now all the logic for our laser it's done so I'm just gonna select all of that do a comment and this will be stop laser when it something 
and I'm going to select this here. I'm going to put a comment as well. And this one, I'm going to call this basically the a laser direction. So it's the laser direction. Perfect. And this is just casting or laser. So I'm just going to double check that, make sure I didn't forget anything because there's always a little something usually. Uh, so we, this is connected. It's all good. It sounds good. We put it here. It's connected here. Uh, there, there. Sounds good. So we're just going to compile and save that. So now we can go to our map here. And if we do play, it's not going to work, right? We're going to have, actually, it's working. I'm surprised. So I thought that I forget to put the blueprint in game, but it's right here. So make sure that your uh, blueprint laser, it's in the, the game here. For X reason, I thought I didn't put it, but uh, it was there. So if I remove it, for an example, and you do play, you see, you would have no laser because the blueprint is not in play. So you take your blueprint, you put it in play here. And when you do play, you have a laser on your gun. Is it not fantastic? So you can see everything is working at once. So the laser gets blocked when you touch something. And when you move away from your target, it's red. I mean, it's, going th it's not going through. So that's pretty much this. So you can change the distance of your laser in your blueprint by modifying the float. Uh, other than that, that's everything I wanted to show you guys. So hopefully it was helpful and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.